A fundamental riddle of earthquake occurrence is that tectonic motions of plate interiors are steady, changing only subtly over millions of years. But at plate boundary faults, the plates are stuck for hundreds of years and then suddenly slip forward in an earthquake. Why does this happen? Well, this model, Quakecaster, seeks to explore and answer this question. It, this model contains the minimum number of physical processes needed to reproduce an earthquake. To represent the steady plate motions, we have a fishing reel, which we can crank at a constant speed. The friction within a fault is represented by a granite slider with a rough bottom surface in contact with a rough rock surface. The Earth's elasticity is represented by a rubber band. At the start of this video, you saw a two-slider earthquake. But what do you think would happen if we had a one-slider earthquake, if we removed half the mass within a fault? Yet, there's the same amount of friction the same Earth's elasticity, and the same steady plate tectonic motion. Let's find out. So as you can see, the single slider earthquakes are more frequent but smaller than the two slider earthquakes. It's important to note, though, that the single slider earthquake behavior is also irregular. So you've just seen a single slider earthquake, which represents one earthquake along a fault. However, this rarely happens in an actual fault. Usually, there are multiple earthquakes that occur in series along a fault, and these earthquakes converse with each other through the transfer of stress. Quakecaster can demonstrate this stress transfer by attaching sliders in series. Now I'm attaching sliders in series, and I'm using the same rubber band that I used in the previous experiment, which represents the same earth elasticity. The friction hasn't changed, and the constant plate motion is still the same. showed some really interesting earth behavior. What we saw was tension building up on the first rubber band, which caused an earthquake with the first slider, which increased the tension on the second slider, which eventually slipped, and that reduced tension on the first slider, but increased the tension on the third slider, and the third slider eventually slipped forward. Now, sometimes we see really irregular behavior. For example, uh, sometimes we saw two sliders occurring at the same time, or even three. So that represents two or three earthquakes occurring simultaneously along a fault. We have downloaded a free smartphone application called iSeismometer, which simulates a seismograph. And a seismograph measures the seismic waves generated by earthquakes. So what you can do is put down the smartphone on the rock surface and run QuakeCaster, and then observe the screen. Even though Quakecaster is a simple model, it's very true to earthquake behavior, and it clearly and effectively illuminates earth processes for people of all ages.